the channel in the Arts Centre Melbourne with Scott Maxwell where he's presenting a masterclass for educators. Scott, thanks for sitting down with Teacher Magazine. Now at your school, Grant High School, you managed to build capacity in a music program on a shoestring budget. How did you do that so successfully? Um, I guess uh, it all comes down to mindset. Um, I think, um, you know, my mindset going, I think in the, in the early years, um, I was, you know, as a music teacher, I was thinking, well, I can't do this because, you know, there's not enough resources uh, in music. Um, and it was, you know, I was always sort of pushing a, a, a big rock up a hill, so to speak. Um, and then um, I sort of just started to forget about it a little bit. And um, I think my mindset started to completely change. And instead of thinking what I didn't have, I started to think about what I did have. And what I did have was a bunch of students who were super crazy and hungry to learn music. And so um, I thought, well, you know, I sort of tried to diagnose a problem, I guess, like a doctor. <laughs> so what, is it, what, what do we need here? Um, and I think that's when we, that's when we started to think about um, creating um, uh, like authentic experiences and, um, and, and authentic shows. And um, I think that's, you know, it can be done on any, any type of budget. And, you know, we were, we were using, you know, old guitars and, and old amps that, like we had. I guess we had uh, our PA system um, was the old community theatre uh, PA system. Um, you know, half of our guitars were donated by... Um, by parents and by um, ex-students and so forth. Um, you know, we had a couple of grants come in for a couple of keyboards and so forth. So, you know, we were able to get a few things running, just enough um, running to actually get out in the community. But even on, on no budget, you know, there's, uh, there's no reason why you couldn't do a, uh, you know, a kitchen utensil um, show or a, um, a vegetable orchestra or something like that, that uh, is, a, is an authentic sort of event in the community. Um, and, you know, I, I guess from there, you know, you just, you, you build up this little bit of uh, momentum and um, you become uh, a bit of a sort of a front line um, to the community between, you know, like between the school and the community. So the community see you as, or your department or what you're doing or the arts as um, sort of the the face of the school because you're always out doing stuff or you're always doing this event and so forth um, and it becomes a cool thing so um, and when it becomes like a cool thing then um, it gains momentum within within the system and then you know you're more likely to have you know resources um, and and leadership uh, value your program which is what happened with us and uh, so, you know, you're more likely to be able to run a program just on smaller numbers or something like that because uh, you're doing these amazing things out in the community and, you know, and the school values that. And when the school values that, then, uh, you know, um, they're going to help, help you through, through the slumps or whatever it is that you may experience over, you know, the course of a, of a, of a program, I guess. So, um, yeah, I, I think uh, it's, it's, it's changing the way you think about... Um, what a program, what a music program should look like, and you you sort of do with with what you have. You know, you know, necessity is the mother inve of invention, um, and that's that's the way you have to think. In re instead of saying, oh, we could never do that because we don't have the money or, or something like that. It's you know, it's about the it's about the students um, probably more so than the actual funding behind it. Um, and then once you gain momentum, um, then you know those 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 events uh, they start building they start building budget line themselves. So um, that's what we've managed to do at our site. So it's pretty cool.